Hello, welcome to the beginning of the video. Let's begin. Hey y'all, um, Prime, more Prime stuff. Uh, let's, uh, I got one item from Walmart, uh, and four from Prime. One of them, I already opened the Amazon package. I, I, uh, it, I accidentally didn't record. I'm stupid. So, uh, I opened that one, and I realized I opened the wrong package, but I didn't even record the damn thing, so... Errors on my end, so I'm unfortunately sorry that you didn't get to see me open that Prime package. So, let's begin. It's not this one, by the way. This is the Walmart one. This is Fleetwood Mac. This is... 50 Years Don't Stop. Uh, I'm assuming there is a 2 CD version, because it said 1 CD, I'm assuming... Uh, there's a 2 CD version, I, I don't know, don't quote me on that, um, uh, I, I should get, try to get into Fleetwood Mac more, um, I still have my, um, uh, Rumors CD over there, so, I, I gotta go spin that up sometime, um, now to open this thing up, it will do, yes, alright. Come on. Again, sorry about the rain. It, in Hilo, it always rains. So, there you go. Come on. I don't know what happened to the booklet. Man, look, it got folded. And no, it, it wasn't like... it was. As you guys saw, it was sealed in like this, so... You got 20 tracks, uh... We only got part one of a well, um, which sucks, but, oh well, but I'm Pardon the noises in the background, if you will. Um, let's open this one. Um, and uh, after this one, I'll show you the one that uh, I did already open. Uh, just give me one second. It is still sealed. I thought it wouldn't be sealed, but it is. Uh, this is brand new sealed. Wow, okay. Uh, this is the album Hurley by, of course, Weezer. Uh, this is not one of their best records, uh, but I still picked it up anyway. Um, because it's me, I want to be complete, and it was on sale for a ridiculously cheap price, so I had to pick it up. I'm taking the sticker off, it's going to float in the wind for a little while, uh, and I'm going to open this, let me figure out how to do that. Alright, I got it open, um, this is not from Amazon themselves, um, this is like X stock I guess, I, I, I have no idea. But, um, I was hoping this would be sealed, and I was wrong. So, actually, I gotta take off the security sticker. Okay. This will come off. I find it funny that they're on Epitaph, and that this is, like, their most, like, pop they ever did in their career was this one, and, um, ugh, Ratitude. Two of their worst records, um... If you saw my tier list on Patreon, you know all about it. Uh, it'll be released to the public when we get to it. Uh, when I get to it. When we get to band number six, it's in my top six, so I'm making it in order. Uh, of uh, Sort of favorite to absolute favorites at the end. So Rush is going to obviously be last. Anyway, stop rambling. Um... All right, uh, I can see the disc front. We open the sucker up. There you go. There you go. Um, again, this is one of their weaker records. They came back with "Everything Will Be All Right in the End," and that that was a lot better. Um, what was behind? Nothing. All right. Again, 
Sorry about the heavy rain. I, I can't control that, obviously. Um, do I show you this one first, or do I show you the, ah, I'll show you this one first. Okay, uh, this one is only the first two seasons, but I'm so glad I got it. Give me one sec. Again, pardon for the very loud rain outside. First two seasons of Harley Quinn. Um, this is, uh, like, three discs, two or three discs. Um, I keep hearing great things about this show, and I, I really want to see it. Um, TVMA, three, 594 minutes worth of content. So, you got your money's worth out of here. This is only 15 bucks on, um... Day, so I was like, I had to pick this up. I always wanted to watch this. So there you go. How many discs? Yes, I was right. Three. Um, Squan. Oh, damn things falling, falling out. Okay, there we go. Fixed. Um, I wonder if this is a Warner archive. Yeah, this is a Warner archive set. Um. The DVD, I think, was regular Warner Brothers, and then the Blu-ray was Warner Archive. I could be wrong, because um, the the DVD was released in stores, and I, I decided I'd wait for Blu-ray. Glad I did. And the last one, physical media-wise, um, this one, uh, I already opened the Amazon uh, bubble wrap. I... Actually, accidentally didn't shoot the damn thing, but here it is anyway. Thankfully, I caught it before I opened the shrink wrap, so. Batman, the animated series, this is just 30 bucks on Amazon, so um, I had to pick this one up. But I had, a, I had a coupon, so I got this for like 20, 25 bucks. Um, so this ended up being cheap, um, so I had to pick it up. I'm very excited. This is all 100 whatever episodes of the animated series plus um, the two movies, uh, Mask of the Phantasm and Sub Zero. So you could buy the movies separately, or you could get them in this set. So um, obviously, I opted for the set, and I believe they were selling Sub Zero on um, Blu-ray for like 15 bucks. I was like, nah, fam, no. Okay, we got ourselves the booklet. Uh, let's see. Your disc content. Okay, we. Okay, there we go. Season one is four discs, five discs. Season two is two, and season three is two. Bonus disc. Excuse me, and then the two movies, and you got the Mr. Freeze saga, um, apparently also on here. So, there you go. Which one is volume one? Okay, here we go. Again, I'm sorry about the rain. I can't do anything about it. Alright. Disc one. Disc two. Originally, this came with a digital copy, but it doesn't come with one for me. This is three, four. We got ourselves a loose disc, uh, as I always do in these sets, but it's Blu ray, so it doesn't really matter. Disc five. Come on. That's why. Give me one second. There we go. Yeah, sometimes you gotta push it in hard, otherwise it won't go in. And then season two, disc one. And then over here, you got. Volume 2, which is disc 2, and then 3, see disc 1, 3, disc 2. Alright, and then special features. And then the movies. Uh, these are Warner Archives disc, Mask of the Phantasm, which I already have. Is this the one I have? I think this is the one I have on 4K. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and then Sub-Zero, which I don't have. So, 
very cool. You get all of it for, which ended up being like 25 bucks for me, at a coupon. Um, so, I had to snag this. And then the last one is a, um, something different. Um, you might notice I have a CD player over there, but, uh, mine has, like, bro uh, the plastic is coming apart, so, uh, I kind of spoil what this is. And yes, I'm using tweezers to open a damn box. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Okay, um, we yeah, open. Yes. Please do. Oh, I'm sorry. That was not intentional. Um, now I gotta open this side. Okay. Alright, here it is. This thing can play USBs too. Cool. Alright. This is smaller than I thought it was gonna be, so. Okay. This is the, I got this for really cheap, so, I, I've, I figured I don't need the cassette deck, I just need the CD, so, uh, I have my, my own dedicated cassette deck, so, I'll just use this for CD, this includes CD, USB, Bluetooth, FM, aux, and then you can charge this with batteries, or use it with, um, uh, wall power, I believe. And then it goes into detail over here. Alright. Let's open her up. User manual. I can figure that all out. I don't even need a user manual. You get a thank you card. I get a two year warranty on this thing. Great. Yes, good. Uh, it does come with the power cable um, and all the foam and all that. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the box just in case this doesn't sound good. If it doesn't sound good, it's go you know where it's going. It's gonna get returned. Um, here it is. It's a lot smaller than my older player. Um, look at that. Uh, but it's a lot more usable, at least from the features. Um, and if you remove this, this will. Can take this off and that's where the CD mechanism is so I'm gonna plug this in and we're gonna try it out right now all right um, volume up and volume down is over here okay uh, how do I turn this thing on okay um, okay and that's not good I think I put it in the wrong oh, but let's see What? Is it not working? This sucks. I'll be right back. Alright, uh, I got it to work. Um, I'm gonna test it with the CD. This CD, by the way, is 5.1, so I'm gonna just test that it works. Uh, so it's just gonna play hissing. That's all you're gonna hear. definitely works. Uh, I'm going to go test it with one of my own CDs. One that I know that works. I'm going to go pop in uh, moving pictures, wherever it is. And I'm going to go hear how good this thing sounds and I'll, I'll come back. Alright, uh, I came back. I popped in 72 seasons because that's the album I'm actually listening to right now. And I popped in moving pictures just to see. Uh, this CD is notoriously kind of soft, so... This is like my, my test to see how loud it can go. Uh, and this CD do, power player does deliver. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be testing Bluetooth and all that right now. Uh, i got to figure out how to do that. Um, but yeah, very good player. Uh, it's raining super hard, so I'm going to see you guys next time. Peace. Hey guys, <clears throat> I got one Amazon package today. Let's open her up. Um... I'm going to use my flathead screwdriver again. I'm opening this, uh, and I'm going to, after I open this, I'm going to watch, um, 
Rise of Gru, um, because at the time of this recording, I'm getting ready to go see Despicable Me 4, so, let's do it. I got three uh, discs. Um, I'll save that one for the end. Okay, let's start with this one. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory on 4K. Um, G100 minutes. Um, unfortunately, these digital copies no longer work anymore because... Uh, Warner Brothers is being dumb and expiring their codes, so unfortunately I will not be able to get the digital off of this title, so what can you do? And it doesn't even come with it anyway, so there you go, uh, 4K and uh, Blu-ray, so I wouldn't, um, if you find a 4K Warner Brothers and you don't care about, um, I mean, even if you do care about digital copies, and it's cheaper, um, go pick it up anyway, because it's not going to even work. The other one is The Goonies. Um, I love this movie. 114 minutes, rated PG. Another classic. Again, I'm using my flathead to open up all of these. It's easier. It's actually quite easy to open up uh, seals and packages. Surprisingly, with a flathead screwdriver. So, uh, you got a couple things over here. Um, Alright, you got the 4K, and then you got the Blu-ray. Again, no digital copy, because Warner Brothers is being dumb. But, uh, they're, they're, they're making up for it with their uh, disc rot protection uh, policy. Here's the one that I specifically went out to go grab. This is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a Warner Archive title. This is Duck Dodgers, the complete series. Um, all 39 episodes of the hit series on uh, Blu-ray. 893 minutes. Not rated, of course, because it's television. Um, I hope this does have the Megadeth episode. If you didn't know, Megadeth uh, guest appeared on a episode of Duck Dodgers, so this is a cool find. Uh, and I also know this is, uh, I hear this is a good show, so I had to pick this one up. So you get, you get a ton of um, stuff on here. Uh, all the bonus features are pretty much on disc one. So, there you go. Uh, you get the original uh, Duck Dodgers cartoon uh, on disc one. And that's about it. So, each disc has 13 episodes um, a piece, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, there you go. I'm excited to pop this in and watch it, uh, especially for Mega Duck. I don't remember which episode it was, but uh, yeah. Is one of these, but yeah, so that's it. Three more uh, Prime Day pickups of mine, uh, all Warner titles. Um, coincidentally, um, I do have a couple other things coming my way, uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys when those are, are here. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Peace. Hey y'all, uh, I got two things thrifting today, and one Prime package arrives, so let's begin. Uh, start off with this one, The Sandman, the complete first season. Uh, let's see, 526 minutes, uh, not rated. Bonus, trailer, whatever is not included. Okay, not rated. Alright. I'm assuming this is like a TV-14 or TV-MA show. Um, 
I've heard about it. I haven't seen it, of course. So, but this time we're gonna use a tilt arcade card just for the hell of it. Come on. Oh, that worked. Okay, very good. I was not expecting it to work. Let's open you up. There we go. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I meant to show this in my my video on uh, Inside on uh, Spickable Me 4. Actually, wait, I'm missing something. Give me one second. Uh, I'm back. Uh, so, what I was going to show you was I won these in the claw machine when I went to go... Uh, these two when I uh, went to go see Despi uh, Despicable Me 4, but I forgot to show them. <laughs> Every time I try and show a pickups video, I forget to show you the plush I win. I don't know why, but yeah, it's something I always forget to do. Anyway, here we go. Uh, I was right, three discs. One, disc one. I don't know if this is one of those shows that got canceled or not, because... Uh, the, uh, Warner Brothers were notorious for canceling shows. That was disc, th disc 2 and this is disc 3. There you go, that's what's on all the discs and all the bonus features are on disc 3 and it's 11 episodes. So, yeah. Okay. This is an upgrade for me. Shocked to see this one as well. Uh, classic movie from my childhood. Uh, upgrade this time. Uh, Kung Fu Panda. So yeah, I, I, I can't wait to re-watch this film. In 4K. Um, rarely, rarely do I have a chance to watch a film in 4K, but, um, I eventually will. Famous last words. Uh, I usually try and watch the newer stuff or the stuff I haven't seen, like uh, True Lies I saw in 4K for the first time and stuff like that. So I try and gravitate towards those first and then do rewatches, unless it's something I know I really want to rewatch. So, digital. Uh, so, yeah. 4K. Um, it is, it's basically the original poster art, but the uh, the text is a little different. So, oh, actually, this is new art. It looks kind of similar, but it's new art. And then this is the original Blu-ray. There's nothing different um, than the one I already have. So, you're mainly just buying this to upgrade the quality. Uh, I'm as, I'm assuming this is the same disc as the one on my other one. Shoots is showing my code. That's okay. I'm gonna redeem. Redeem it anyway, so it doesn't matter. I can't wait to watch four, so yeah, I actually do own four now. So, anyway, the main event this is a Prime Day deal. This ended up costing me about 20 bucks. Actually, I think I got a coupon on this one too, so it ended up becoming more like 15. Um, I was, I was hugely debating on this one, sorry about the feet, um, because I'm doing this one-handed, it's easier to put some pr pressure on one end. Alright, um, here it is, this is the one, Nickelodeon, you can kind of figure out what it is. Uh, I know, uh, a couple other, uh, people have gotten this, but this is my first time getting it, because it was on sale. Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, the complete series. I'm assuming this does not have the movie. You got the Jimmy Timmy Power. Yeah, this. I'm assuming this does not have the movie. About 22 hours worth of content. All three seasons. All right. How many discs is this? Ten. Okay. This is a Shop Factory title. This one. This kind I can peel apart with my fingers. I don't need. Um, yeah, there you go. Two, two hundred, yeah, two hours and, uh, twenty-two hours, man. That's a lot of content. Um, so here's what's on the discs. 
and I'm gonna flip to the back. I'll show you what's on these. You got the uh, oh. Th there's a bonus features disc. Okay, I was just expecting, you know, a typical. Okay. Season one, disc one. Season one, disc two. Season uh, uh season one, disc two. Season one, disc one. Season one, disc three. So each season gets three discs, I'm guessing. Season two, disc one. Season two, disc two. Season two, disc three. Season three, disc one. Come on. Sometimes these things are a pain in the ass. Uh, season three, disc two. Season three, disc two. And season three, disc three, and the bonus features. Unfortunately, this does not have the um, different artwork uh, on each disc because I'm assuming because they put this all out at one time instead of you know individual separates kind of deal. Uh oh, there's a piece of plastic that get cut open. I can see. In the case that's okay so yeah these are the three i got i'll see you guys next time in the next clip all right hello welcome uh, welcome to the outro um glad you're here still uh if you could please subscribe to the channel it does help us out a lot i'm trying to hit 1000 subscribers so if you could uh help me in that journey uh, i'd gratefully appreciate it um, that would really help us out. Um, as I said, trying to hit a thousand plus, I think, three thousand hours of views to get monetization. So, if you could help us out with that, that'd be really great. Uh, also, check out the eBay store. Uh, this is going to be, we're towards the end, guys. Um, I'm probably going to leave on the week of the the probably the 18th um somewhere between the 18th and the tw uh, 21st 22nd so uh it's up so if you guys want to order something you have about two weeks left uh i haven't booked my flight back yet but that's about how long it's gonna take um also i'm willing to take offers on stuff so yeah that's going to be key um i'm not pretty much firm on my prices right now uh unless it's um under i mean over six dollars if it's five dollars um 450 is pretty much the lowest i'm willing to go due to my my ground advantage shipping now so um just keep that in mind i'm still willing to take offers though so yeah also check out patreon um, patrons also help out with the channel. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm sliding it so the pictures are correct. Anyway, um, patrons help me out, uh, as well. I, I, of course, um, do exclusive early access. Like, this video is being early access for patrons right now. So, um, patrons, you get to watch this video early, um... Glad you are. Uh, Two dollars for exclusive videos plus early access. Now that I'm going back to school in about two weeks, um, when I do go back to school, I think early access is going to be primarily what that tier is, and exclusive videos are going to be less uh, because I'm going to be working on a lot of projects and uh, mystery movies plus benefits um, of the other tier is the other tier. Uh, it's seven fifty a month, where you get two mystery movies from myself, as well as um, as well as the uh, other bonus stuff. Um, if you're willing to combine, uh, if you want to combine two months into one box, that's totally fine with me. Um, as I said, it's it's pretty much up to you guys uh, what you want to do in terms of if you do subscribe to me on Patreon. Uh, if, if you want 
four at once, uh, and you skip what you do every other month, that's fine with me. Uh, but pretty much it's two a month because of the way it works. So, yeah. Uh, if you do order VHS, though, it's pro if you want VHS stuff, it's probably going to have to go media mail because of the weight. Just a heads up. So, yeah. Uh, thanks, patrons. Especially thanks to VHS and CD Brony and Angela. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for the support. Um... In terms of what's coming up next, uh, you guys voted, I believe, for uh, tier list. Uh, let, let me see if that's still accurate. Um, I'm I'm doing this on I'm doing this on the um, sat on Saturday. So, yeah, currently right now it's about even. Um, I mean, it's more towards prime and tier list. So you're probably getting a tier list on Thursday. Um, patrons will probably get, uh, tier list on Tuesday, and then the next Prime Day on Thursday, so, um, very good, um, I, as in terms of when I'm gonna go see Deadpool and Wolverine, I don't know, I didn't book anything yet because of driving stuff, in fact, my driving lesson was cancelled this morning, and I'm, I'm gonna go to my driving lesson at 4 o'clock, so, I better hurry up. Uh, it's about 3 o'clock right now. So, um, yeah, I don't have very much else to say in terms of I don't know what, what's coming up next. Um, I'm probably going to do the same poll for next week because I got, I got like still like an hour's worth of Prime Day f um, pickups footage for you guys. So, it's up to you guys what you want. So, yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, glad you guys stayed to the end. That's all. Peace, everybody.